So this is my first tutorial on MatTracker. You have the interface of MatTracker here, where you can see all the buttons. You have the play, the play block, uh, play block looped, uh, the stop button, and the edit record button. Here you have the window for your instruments. Uh, you have the sample instruments here, the, where you can edit the samples here. You have the VST instrument here. Uh, where you can open uh, and upload your VSTs into this uh, window here. But uh, I'm going to show you now how to build up a simple beat using the built-in samples from MadTracker. First, you, first of all, you need to get your instrument here. So you press this uh, new slot here, and there will be an empty slot here for your instrument where you can upload it and instrument. Go to sample and press load. Here you have uh, the built-in samples in MadTracker in these folders. When you open a folder you can listen you can listen how each sample sounds and choose your favorite sound for your project. Um, so we're going to choose some drums now. And see. So I'm going to use kick drum kick 3 here. Yes. Yep. So basically, when you type in your tracks in the uh, Mad Tracker here, you use your mouse or you use your uh, uh, keys, up, arrows up and down, right, left here. Um, you press edit to enter your notes in the Mad Tracker. Uh, you can also do it synchronized to a beat if you want to, a metronome. But I prefer to do it like this, and I think uh, that would be the most easy way to do it for most people. Um, before I edit, you can hear you have from uh, when you press your keyboard from Q to P, you have um, like on the white keys on the keyboard, and uh, the row just above that, the in between is the black keys. So you can you'll find that out uh, by trying a little playing around. So now I'm gonna insert the the beat. I press space to uh, enter this button here, or you can press directly with your mouse. Um, yeah. So I choose to go down every fourth. That's a common way to build a dance beat. You can also do it every eighth. It depends uh, what beats per minute you use how many blocks, patterns you play per minute, that play per beat, so. But there's an easier way than to go for down. You can also go to add and add four. So each time I press, it will automatically go, go for down. And here I simply create a beat, just a bass drum kick, kick drum. Press home to go to the top. You want to start a new track, of course. You want to add some hi-hats. So you press your new instrument slot here. Go to sample. Again, load very easily. Take, for example, closed hi-hat. And this one, I choose just to make it as simple as possible. You can always make your own variations. I'm going to show you that in the next tutorial anyway. So we'll see. Just put it all the way down. No variation at all. Yes, and you want to add an opening hi-hat, of course. To do that, go to this menu again. Mm. And again, I choose to add fall because I want to put it in between my, my kick drum on every beat. So you have the effect of the very simple 90 dance beat here, a little old school. Yes. And you should add your snare also here on the fourth block, 
for the fourth uh, track actually. Um, you take a snare drum, snare five would be fine. And I like to give that a double space, eight spaces between, and then move down like this compared to the first kick. It's four down, and then every, every eighth sounds like this. Yep, that's basically how you build up a simple beat in Mad Tracker. 